welcome to Rogue Beauty Bar. My name is Brittany, I'm the owner of Rogue Beauty Bar. I recently purchased this building because we are in the process of expanding. This used to be Slessar Glass, which will now be the home to Rogue Beauty Bar. Slessar Glass was in business for 70 years. I've had the honor of meeting Paul and he is a very sweet gentleman. I hope to one day make this a legacy to give down to my daughter, just like he made a legacy out of his name in this building. So back in the day, Paul actually used to own a different building and his dream was always to buy this exact building. So I know he kind of owned three buildings over time and eventually this was always his goal. This is where they used to work on cars back in the day. So it is pitched for an automobile place and he turned it into a glass establishment. So there actually used to be three garage doors here. As you see, there's about a six to nine inch incline and below this, there's drains. Back in that corner used to be a grease pit and we still have the basement and the stairs to where the guys used to work. Paul showed me it. There's actually a really cool door down there. A lot of history in this building. So this all was walled in. We've taken all the walls down and this was one of the walls we took down and because it is drained or there's drainage and it's sloped so much, they had to put the walls in and then pour the concrete around it so it's even because this used to be his office back in the day. So this used to be a garage door. The cars would pull on through. As you can see over there, it is pitched too. So underneath there was the grease pit back in the day. And then this used to be the showroom back in the day. So they would also pull the cars through here and I believe they would display the cars. Yep, so this used to be the receptionist office area and that was a lot of manpower to take that down. As you can see, we still have wood everywhere, um, but it used to be built up and there used to be kind of a second story. So Paul loved that you could oversee what was going on and he could keep an eye on things. He actually told me a story where he used to have a string and drop his paperwork down to his employees, which I thought was kind of cute. Oh, the map. Everyone asks me about this map. I do have the map. If anyone wants to stop by and see it, I'm going to have it framed. It is a cartoon-esque version of downtown historic West Bend, and it has all the businesses. It's actually a very neat piece of history. My dream is to be able to work on as many clients as I can and give that passion that I have and that happiness to more clients. So I would like to employ 10 to 15 employees um, with a luxury beauty bar feel, beauty retail. I do cosmetic tattoos, lash extensions. I'm a lash educator, so I can teach more students at a time. And then we'll have six to eight rental suites too. So anyone in the beauty industry can rent a room here. Um, we'll have a float room, which I don't know if you know where that is, what that is, but it is like a big glorified hot tub with 700 pounds of salt, and it can reduce your anxiety and stress by 50% with just one session. So we are with contractors right now about to be ripping up the floor. That is a huge, huge project. Then we will be relaying concrete because of that dip that to level it out would take about two months and a lot of money. So instead, we're just gonna rip it, lay all new concrete, and then from there, they say four to six months. So I'm going with six months, so fall 2023. 